up and heave in. Just completely, utterly in awe here. That is a complete scandal. That is quite out of this world. Our first match of this uh, monumental semi-finals and all-English affair. Emily Whitlock, the number one seed, taking on the giant killer, Lucy Tumel. But of course, um, Tumel is just improving month by month. Still only 18 years of age. I've got a feeling it's going to be much tougher today for Whitlock. There's that touch. It. Yeah, it's the touch of cleaning up very well. And now keeps a tidy house. See, open earlier this year. And uh, it's a three love win for Whitlock. But of course, um, Tamal is just improving month by month. He's still only 18 years of age. I've got a feeling it's going to be much tougher today for Whitlock. There's that touch. It. Yeah, it's the touch of cleaning up very well. And now she keeps a tidy house. So, yeah, you just start to play those people that you saw that you were looking up to, and it's uh, a weird feeling. But as you said, she's just very level headed to Mel. Maybe he's growing up with uh, two older brothers. Fed up. Yeah, that probably has uh, a big factor. And out, 5-3. Two-point cushion for Whitlock in this first game. Oh, up, wonderful up. shot. Yeah, great shot. Thank Good you. call from the ref there as well. Quite and far out. back, the uh, tiering goes up four tiers in this theatre. The referee's on number two. Three game balls for Whitlock. Just staying in. Down. Do the ref. Well, I agree with you, Joey. I thought it was in. Obviously, I can't be 100% sure, but it looked in. Ball was good. 11 7, game to Whitlock. Sorry Whitlock about the delay there. One game to Whitlock. So got there in the end. So first blood to Emily Whitlock. She marches off. 16 minute duration, so a very physical first game. A bit uh, tight on the scoreline there. 11 7, but uh, Whitlock <laughs> looking confident. She leaves one game to love. Not quite as accurate as well, I think, I feel, Lucy Tamel. She's just clipping side walls here and there. Obviously, she's under a bit more pressure than she was. A different type of player to Shaheen Whitlock, but um, she's just losing that accuracy. She's just a step slower, perhaps, as well than she was a couple of days ago. And it's all going in Whitlock's favour. Yeah, I mean, she Five, one. can't really miss at the moment, Whitlock. Right box, please. Good cut off from Whitlock. Again, look, every opportunity she's taking the ball early and short, and that's a lovely shot. Great touch. It was difficult to time. Off the so a massive regrouping for Lucy Tumel. Whitlock leads two games to lock. Emily Whitlock storming off court once again. 26 minutes so far, nine minutes second game. Whitlock now moves on to a two game to love lead.
worst possible start for Tamal. And out, seven, five. Know that. She's asked for a review here. I don't know if this is going to be. Player review. Terminal on the no net decision. Yeah, I'm not, not sure, sure if this will be uh, overturned. I think um, she probably could, could have gone round to the uh, the wall side there. I think I think she could have picked it up, but the uh, interference was minimal. So the no let no being given. Decision half now. Emily Whitlock. Match to Whitlock. Takes the victory here in Nantes. 40 Eleven minutes seven. in duration. Eleven Wonderful two. run through Eleven. for Lucy Tamal. Just 18 Eleven. years of age. She's had an amazing Eleven. tournament in a dream venue. Eleven. But it's Whitlock, the 24 year old, that uh, takes it three games to love. Third semi-final, ignore the nincompoop bon. parading round in the simple. tight pants on the stage. That is Romain Suissui. He's been performing all day long with a very stiff back. But we've got the second semi-final. So close to the top of the tin. Still working the ball though, Moberly. That is a great shot. Down. Nice uh, bit of trickery from Gillis. And out. Yeah, very good delay four. in the swing. Look, early preparation. You've got to get to the ball early with. It's good recovery from Gillis. Those four losses, two were three one. Oh, there's the that's the dying yeah, length. Seven. Apology though. Gillis is a bit lucky. Twice, Gillis so leads leads one game two got the groove on as we say. Mary Gillis, so very important opening first game for her. Eleven minutes in duration. She now leads Moberly, the defending champ, by one game to love here in Nantes. You you make an unforced error like that pretty easy. Unable to score a point so far in this second game. And right in queue, there's the first one. And down one and three. Something's got to change here for the woman from Hull. Scoreline and also your opponent slots it in the tin for you. Yelp from Fiona Mobley. The width was not wide enough. And now, Mayla Gillis five, threw everything at that one.
Touché, mon ami. Touché. C'est parfait. And out. Well, Joey Barrington has just, just turned seven. French. We encourage the no let in that scenario, then people will get whacked in the head. I don't think she. I know what you're saying, and I agree with you. But I, th I just think in that situation, it was there was enough distance. But uh, it's all open to interpretation. Still 10-9, Gillis. Gillis, though. Oh goodness me! She Throw to Gillis. She's going to oh. review this again. I think she can cross call that. Yeah, I don't think that's a stroke. Too easy. They review well, we're getting the drama decision. of the video officials getting a lot of action here. Parkey believes that this could be cross courted. And I agree with him. Could easily, I mean, you could play a cross court drop, and that's the furthest shot wide, obviously, in this scenario. I don't think that's a stroke. It's given as a stroke. Stroke to Gillis. Decision for now. 11 9. Come to Gillis. Gillis leads two games to love. 29 minutes so far in this ladies' last semi final. Nana Gillis, for the first time in her career, finds herself two games to love up against the higher seeded Fiona Moberly. Rugby tackled. Man in the uh, blanc shirt. That's a great example. There's a fist pump of the movement of Nelly Gillis. The timing of the movement's good because, she, as you said, she uses the movement and then juts the racket and out of Gillis, who, as you said, is physically so good. Keeps the pace high, makes it very difficult for you. There's that drop out in front again. Nobly, just nothing left, really. Played well, though. No, Gillis. Two. For Moverly, she's staying in it. Oh, she's got it. Yeah, it's well played. It's well played from Nelly Gillis. Three games to love. 11 7, 11 9, 11 3. 44 minutes there. Fiona Moverly, the defending champion, ousted by the Belgique number one. Three games to love. First victory for Gillis over Mobley on the PSA. 